Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna talk about my worst week ever with a smile on my face, also discussing favorites because why not talk about things that bring joy, that are good, I have them in all categories, and also kind of just vent a little bit about things going on in my life that are unavoidable and I really didn't know what other video to film. And if I'm being honest, I wanted to just stay in bed today. It was one of those kind of days where it's like, I just don't want to do life. And I personally feel like when you have those days, those are the ones where within reason, I mean, sometimes we need to take like a time out, but I did that yesterday. And when you're really feeling like, I can't do this, you got to like put on the makeup, you got to kind of go through those motions and do it anyway. So if you're having a rough time in life, if you're having a little, you know, bump in life, just know that you're not alone. And sometimes putting on a little bit of makeup, looking at shiny things, and in a way maybe distracting yourself with little bits of joy can be super helpful because I'm living that right now. And glitter is kind of making me feel a little bit better. So that was a rambly intro. What's new? Cheers. We're going to dive on in to all the good stuff. This is actually a favorite right now as well. This is the Vogue Clean Energy Matcha Collagen Protein Blueberry Coconut. I don't know how they do this. There's no sugar in here. I mean, I don't understand. It's so delicious. What's in here that makes it so sweet? This feels like a adult beverage that should be consumed on a beach. It has a coconut aftertaste with fruit. Kind of reminds me of a pina colada a little bit, but more berry. It's super good. Does this have protein? She's on her protein kick. Oh, there's protein from collagen, one gram. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I just really ruined my lip gloss. We're gonna talk about that too. I have so many favorites that are newer that I am absolutely diehard loving. None of this is sponsored. I will, I will list everything. I have two beverages going. We're gonna hydrate with water and then ruin it with caffeine. Okay, I feel like I need to reapply. So why not talk about the beauty Bible and give a shout out to Carly Bible. Her glosses are like marshmallow gel, but the ones with glitter, like this one right here, which is called Amanda. This one right here has the perfect like glimmer shimmer when there is any light reflected on you, which you know what? Time to grab the Ilios mirror. Let's see if this picks it up. Are you seeing? In my bathroom, literally, it looked like fairy dust. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like it was so beautiful. I love this formula. The scent is delicious. It's marshmallowy. It's not gloppy or goopy. So when you put your lips together, you don't have that like stringy, like goopy thing going on. I love these, especially love this one. Amanda and Danny is also a really pretty color. Also, I am wearing today one of the lipsticks, Nicole. So far, so good. I really, really love the glosses. I need to play with the lipsticks more, but I don't wear lipstick that often. This one is super gorgeous, really beautiful neutral. And the lip liners, like the whole lip look is all Beauty Bible by Carly Bible. The lip liners are phenomenal as well. They remind me a lot of Givenchy as far as a sharpen lip pencil that is so creamy. There's nothing stiff. It's not like a MAC lip pencil. It's just super, super just like goes on so smooth, but it's not overly creamy where it's a gel finish that has shine. These are perfect for really like lightly overlining the lip. Love that you can sharpen them and keep that point really intense. And it's just been something I've been reaching for. Shout out to these lippies, love them so much. And the packaging is really dreamy as well. Okay, you guys, so I have had just a disaster week. And for me in my life, I feel like these weeks happen where like, everything all at once. And then we're like, we're clear, we're good. You know, it's manageable, but like home life and personal things, just like everything happened at once. I know a few of you guys saw over on IG, I had a morning where I was like, I have so much to do. I don't even know where to start. My Christmas tree is still up, which I am like, I'm not going to say I'm embarrassed. It is what it is. Literally as I am filming this, my Christmas tree is still up and every evening, I just have not had the energy to go and take it down. So it is what it is. And it's just not the biggest problem in the world, but a lot of people were DMing me and they're like, just take the 
dang thing down, just do it. And I'm like, I have bigger fish to fry right now. We had painters in the house fixing the ceiling from where a pipe burst and the upstairs toilet water just like crushed through the ceiling, through the living room. Oh my gosh, it was a whole thing. So that finally, however many, I put too much on, however many months later, finally got painted. We had plastic everywhere. I have the Christmas tree still up. Our pipes in the back broke from the freeze. So our pool drained and then Puka's not feeling well, which is the number one thing that I'm focused on. I'm not gonna like go into it too much because we do not need to see me cry. And I have already cried plenty over this. I literally took a day where I just laid in bed with him all day long and it was a little bit depressing. And that's why today I was like, you know what? I'm really happy that I can just sit down, put on makeup and have a reason to do it and feel nice about myself and film a video. And so thank you guys that you're here watching. Um, I have a tendency when I get bad news to kind of go into like freeze and depress and just not want to do anything. And it's a battle. It really, really is. So Puka Shell. Oh, Puka Shell. Oh, I'm not losing hope about it. I am going to keep a positive attitude, but he has cancer and it's pretty aggressive. We're waiting on um, doing a CT scan to find out if he can have surgery. It's a whole thing and we just want him to be comfortable and he is right now, but we noticed that he was not eating and he was shaking really funny. So we brought him in and I just didn't expect the kind of news that we got. So, whew. so prayers for Puka. He's just my everything and... Oh. Um, yes. So prayer, prayers for Puka Shell. Uh, he's just my best dog. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's just a dog, but he's just so much more to me. <sighs> Perspective is a wild thing. Like I was so stressed out about the house and the pipes and just like things happening fast and not having enough time in my day. And then really all my focus kind of went straight to Puka Shell and what's going on with him. And it's just broken my heart. And I think life is so funny like that sometimes where like I just announced the Tati list and the response was so good that I was like, yeah, like I've got a pep in my step back and I'm so happy and I feel like excited to jump out of bed and like I'm in it to win it. And like we're doing cool things 2024. And you have these hurdles that sometimes will just come right in the way of those moments where you're like, yeah, finally out of the mud. And this is life. And I think that you have to just feel it and move through it. And like dogs are not gonna live forever. And the sad thing is, is, you know, for most of us, we'll live longer than our pets. And it sucks. Like my fear right now is that I don't wanna feel this. Like, I just don't wanna feel this. And it hasn't happened yet, but I'm getting anxious because I know like anxiety is the future and this hasn't happened yet, but I'm already like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be like, not okay. Yeah, it's just, it's very serious. It's really sad. So, oh, um, all right, let's talk about some beauty goods and get in a better mood. I'm gonna try. All right, you guys, I got sent really beautiful skincare from this company, Mary May. Believe in truth. Vegan Blackberry Complex Cream Essence. Look at how gorgeous this product is. It's separated, it's like milky, creamy, and then you have the color down here, which there's no like actual colorant in here. It's a very clean skincare line. And you give it a shake and it becomes milky. You put this on your skin, it absorbs so quickly. It's very nourishing, really hydrating, fragrance-free, which I super love. And I also love the labeling where they tell you the parts per million as far as what is in this. I like it. I just started using it maybe a week, week or two ago, and I've been consistent, just taking little essence after I cleanse my skin, letting that sink in before I go into anything else. And so far, I'm a big fan. I also love these face masks. What I think about this is how genius the design is. You have little tongs up here and the face masks are literally 
Like you go in with your little tongs and you just take one out. And there's no like plastic to like rip open and get your hand in and there's all the goo everywhere and it's just kind of a pain in the butt. These do have a slight fragrance to them. That's my only drawback but I have been loving this line. It's not terribly expensive and the ingredients are A plus. All right, moving on from there, update for you all, this gem of a product. Oh my gosh, I didn't know I was missing this from my life so dang much. Like, are you kidding me? This is like still that Okay, this is still the it girl. This is a popular, I just, I don't even know why I would ever stop using this because the formula is still good. Oh my gosh, it brightens. It is not cakey, thick, bunchy, none of that. It is just like the smoothest, most beautiful powder. The contour powders in here are awesome as well. So this is not a new launch, obviously, but it's one I had neglected when they shifted gears and Kat Von D no longer was a part of the brand. I just kind of stopped buying their stuff. And now I'm kind of like, hmm, Maybe I need to check out some old favorites. And this one did not disappoint. I'm so happy I picked it up. Also, a lot of you guys were asking from the Tati List video what earrings I was wearing and where you could get them. You can get these on Amazon. They are the coolest. Do you see how this like opens? Let's look at that. So this is the back right here. So it goes on and then one side is just dangly and long. And I think the design is so unique. I love these. They do not irritate my overly finicky ears and they are gold and silver, which I really, really love. I do have this necklace right here and I love it as well. I don't know that this one is worth the price if I'm being honest, it's a little up there in price and it's nice. I just worry how it will keep like six months from now, a year from now, like it, like to be determined, but the earrings I find are so incredibly unique and I'm not really getting any body makeup or anything on it that is tarnishing them that I do feel like these ones were worth the price. Um, also another skincare item that I am obsessing over. I gave my mom a tub of these over the holidays because these are the most budge proof under eye masks that I have ever found that are disposable. They do not slide everywhere. So the magic in these right here from Derma E, this is the vitamin C bright eye patches. They're a hydrogel patch. They literally adhere to your under eye area. And I kid you not, I can blow dry my hair and like flip my hair upside down. I can move around and nothing's like sliding on my face. So I can actually have these on my skin for a significant amount of time while I'm getting ready and then it really Really has its time to sink in, penetrate all of that good under eye tightening, brightening, skin, whatnot in, and I peel them off and I do feel, and it's not my imagination. I feel like I have better concealer days when I wear these, but I feel like everything is like so smoothed out and I can tell a difference when I don't use these in the morning. So now this is like an added step that I didn't know I needed. So it's kind of like, do I love that I do this now or am I kind of resentful? Because whenever I'm rushing and I don't have the time, I'm just like, I can see it. Like I see more lines. Like I, you know, I was mentioning in my last video that there is no such thing as a crease proof concealer, but you can do things to help the under eye area resist creasing. And I would say creating that smooth, bright base, hydrating under the eye without it being too slippery is something amazing you can do. And I have just been loving these. I love them. My mom loves them. We are fans. All right, I used my Dyson today. I think I prefer the Dyson curls. Like they're so, wavy, right? Do we love? What do we think about the top? I am undecided. This is the OQQ top that I bought off TikTok. I kind of love it, but girls with a long torso, long torso ladies, I'm going to let you know the crotch is not buttoned right now. I was losing circulation and just today is not the day for discomfort. And that is my pet peeve with bodysuits is like, oh my gosh, if I am not circulating and it's just like too tight, like no, forget it. So that's my only thing I don't like about this one, but everything else, oh my gosh, I mean, this zips like, woo. Um, or you can like be a little more conservative with it. Um, it's really nice. I do really, really love this. Also nail polish that I am so into. I have determined 
that this is the best shaped brush period and the best leveling formula where it literally does the work for you and it just levels the polish for you. It's so well done. I have been polishing my own nails now for a little over a year. I don't really get mani pedis anymore, like maybe occasionally, but most of the time I do my own nails. I don't do gel. I use old school polish. And I have to update you guys that I have decided that Loud Lacquer is the best formula and brush. I need more colors. I don't have that many, but these are my favorites right here, Sasha 2.0. What I'm wearing right now is Electrolyte. I really love it. It's just dark, but has that kind of punchy, glimmery, like indigo purple blue. It's just a really pretty shade. And then I really like this one, Disco Stick, that is more of like a gunmetal. It's goof proof. If you have a hard time painting your nails, this is the formula for you because it just applies so evenly. And it doesn't do that thing where when you paint a nail and then you kind of try to go to finish it, like you go back in for another stroke, it like moves everything around. No, this just does everything for you. You just kind of paint, paint and it self levels. And the brush shape is just like blunt and kind of a little bit squarish, which is so helpful because it gets most of your nail just in one swipe. I love it. All right, random so random, but I have a new lash glue obsession. This is the only lash glue I have been reaching for. It locks them in, it peels off without ripping my eyelashes off. It does not irritate my eyes and that is the Velour Glue. I don't use Velour lashes as much. I'm wearing Ardell's because I just prefer the drugstore for lashes. I believe I'm wearing the 424s, but this glue is so worth the price. It is so good. Like I feel secure and that is important to me. I can cry a little bit right now. Nothing's moving. So important and it does not irritate or sting. This is so phenomenal. All right, for a little glitter, I was telling you guys that I've been into a little sparkle. I know 2016 makeup is apparently coming back. I feel like I have been in every era of makeup. Like I kind of don't go with the trend. I'm like, guess what? I'm lazy today, so clean girl. Um, guess what? I feel like really creative and like glitter is calling my name. So back to 2016 we go, like it's kind of all over the place. And I personally allow my mood to determine my makeup and my desires and not really a trend, you know, but it's kind of fun to hear what everybody's saying. They're like, oh, 2016, makeup is back. And uh, clearly that means we need some glitter options, right? So this right here from Half Magic is so perfect. This is, what shade are you? Glitter pill in Money Please. The applicator is so good. It's like this little pointed, but kind of thick. It's the perfect applicator to kind of go on the inner corner or on the lid and the glitter, there's something different. I love Urban Decay glitters, but this, I think I love even more. It's just like, it's perfect. I need more colors. I'm obsessed, love. All right, <laughs> I have this sitting in front, how random. I have my little LED um, candle. I love this guy. You guys, this is the upgrade I feel from what's behind me. And now I want these all over my house. I have them in my bathroom because I'm a big time bath girl. I love getting all my salts and my magnesium flakes and all my bath goodies. And literally I will just soak in my tub and I will scroll on my phone and I will zone out and it is my favorite thing. And I always feel so good after a good soak. And it was like a dream of mine. I kid you not, when I was little, I would write my like fantasy bathroom and I would imagine myself there and I'd be like, I have luxurious bath goods. I am surrounded by candles. I have beautiful fluffy towels and a gorgeous soaking tub. And I would just like pretend that that was my life. And it's so cool to be like, wow, sometimes I'm soaking in my tub and I'm like, dang, this is like my life. Like, this is pretty cool. So I love like the spa element of the whole taking a bath, but I want these everywhere. They look so realistic. Like I'm kind of, you know, waving it around right now, but the flame actually kind of flickers and it looks like a real legit candle. These are from Pottery Barn. A lot of you guys are like, oh, no, 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 no. No, you need to try the ones on Amazon. I am ordering them. 
rest assured I am doing that because the one thing with these that is driving me nuts is I have to individually like turn them on and off. There's no remote. So if you guys have a good candle recommendation, that's this glass top is what I like not just the ones that are just kind of waxy and open, but this glass top I feel makes it look so much more realistic and I'm so into it. And it is just my fantasy at the moment. I don't burn any candles in my house anymore. They're all fake. Like they're literally, they're all LED candles. It's, it's the thing. Floresis came out with a collection that is so cute and the packaging is amazing. Like the presentation through and through, the actual packaging and then the actual case, the compact is so stunning. Yo, I'm wearing this today. The formula is so incredible and smooth. I'm wearing this kind of, it's not silvery, it's a little more vanilla, like it has a little bit of warmth to it, which I really, really love. This shade right here on the lid, I'm wearing the darker brown on the outer edge. I am wearing a little bit of the bronze mixed in on the lid. I love this palette so much. Something that's really special about their particular shadows is the embossing does not really get jacked up. Like I can actually go on top of that with my finger and the embossing stays right? There's not a lot of kickback, but the product is somehow nice and pigmented. And I just think it's a beautiful experience. And I'm so excited about this collection that I had to show you guys. So beautiful. All right. We landed on a high note with that. Oh, bonus favorite. How could I forget about this? It's right in front of me. You guys, Soap and Glory caught my attention at Walgreens. Ugh. There's just, uh, there's just something about it. Like I want the body butter again. Like, I, I, uh, there's just something about Soap and Glory. Okay, this is the XXL Pillow Plump Sexy Mother Pucker. There is not a better plumper out there that is nourishing, comfortable, and actually zhuzhes your lips without cinnamon or menthol. It feels, I don't know how they do it, but it feels like little robots are on your mouth going zzz. It feels electrical. It's such a weird sensation, but this is such a good plumper. I had forgotten about it. And since purchasing it, I've used it almost every day. I'm so hooked on this. Oh my gosh. I just, I get a joy out of putting it on. Wow, it's already plumping so much like I, that I like might need to take a time out from talking. This is not for the timid. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. My mouth is vibrating. I'm not even joking. It's so wild. Okay, you guys, that is it for my current favorites in all categories. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Ring the bell before you leave. I will also have a link for the Tati list. If you have not signed up yet, now is the time. We are gonna be doing cool things very, very soon. And that's all I got for you. Go and have a good one, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.